Hello and welcome back to the Howard S. Gherkin. These dives were conducted on September 4th, 2016, and these are the third and final dives of the 2016 season. Initially, I was hoping to attempt a bird's eye photo mosaic of the shipwreck. Unfortunately, the limited visibility would not allow for that. Instead, I would follow Team 1 and get footage of them conducting their final measurements of the 2016 season. Right away I noticed this juvenile burbot resting in between the propeller blades. It looks as though the animal has some open sores or even tumors. Team 1 finishes gathering information on their measurements ahead of schedule. They signal that they're going to return to surface so they can extend the bottom time on their second dive. As they do, I notice a second burbot hanging underneath the chain attached to the downline. On the second dive, both teams are going to go in search of unidentified debris. Before we head off to the debris field, I check and see that both burbot are in the same area as they were on the previous dive. We follow the same line that we had put down the previous season, which will take us right to the debris field. From there, Michael attaches his rec reel, and we head off 150 feet to the north and do a circular or pendulum search pattern. We're looking for unidentified or unrecorded debris which may be associated with the Howard Gherkin. As Michael reaches the end of his line, I notice a shadow in the distance, but due to the limited visibility, we're unable to inspect it on this dive. I signal to Michael that we should take note of our position so we can check the anomaly on a future dive. Unfortunately, it turns out that that shadow was actually the bow of the gherkin, and we were unable to find any other uncovered debris while on our search. Taking a closer look at what I believe to be the crane of the gherkin, I noticed three juvenile burbot inside. And looking underneath, I see the tails of another two. And then just off the crane, I noticed another two. And just past that, another one. From there, I followed a rope into the cone. Inside the cone, I find a concrete cherub that someone had geocached there. And then I come across another juvenile burbot. 
From there we make our way back, following the line to the shipwreck. Before heading up the line, we want to take a quick look at these protrusions that are only existing on the hull of the port side. Upon approaching the second, I noticed two more adult burbot, one of which is massive. We make our way back to the prop and are happy to be welcomed at the downline by the initial burbot, but we've been on the wreck for nearly 30 minutes and must return to surface. <laughs> 